HIV Progress Report, Are We Close to a Cure? While there's no cure for HIV yet, the medical community is hopeful that new discoveries, such as a vaccine and new advancements in treatments and medications, may soon lead to the discovery of a cure. HIV weakens the immune system and hinders the body's ability to fight disease. Without treatment, HIV could lead to stage 3 HIV, known as AIDS. The AIDS epidemic began in the United States in the 1980s. The World Health Organization, WHO, trusted source estimates that more than 40 million people worldwide have died from the condition. There's currently no cure for HIV, but many clinical studies are dedicated to researching a cure. The current antiretroviral treatments allow people living with HIV to prevent its progression and live normal lifespans. Great strides have been made toward the prevention and treatment of HIV, thanks to scientists, public health officials, governmental agencies, community-based organizations, HIV activists, pharmaceutical companies, vaccine. The development of a vaccine for HIV would save millions of lives. However, researchers haven't yet discovered an effective vaccine for HIV, research into vaccines is ongoing throughout the world. Every year, there are new discoveries. In 2019, researchers at the University of Pittsburgh Trusted Source announced they had developed a promising treatment allowing them to engineer certain immune system cells to reactivate HIV in cells that contain inactive, latent, HIV, use another set of engineered immune system cells to attack and remove cells with reactivated HIV, their findings could provide the foundation for an HIV vaccine, research trusted source on an investigational HIV vaccine conducted by the HIV Vaccine Trials Network, HVTN, that began in 2019 was stopped in 2023 due to failure to prevent HIV, clinical trials are ongoing, basic prevention, although there's no HIV vaccine yet. There are other ways to protect against transmission. HIV is passed by the exchange of bodily fluids. This can happen in a variety of ways, including sexual contact. During sexual contact, HIV can be passed through certain fluids, including blood, semen, or anal and vaginal secretions. Having other sexually transmitted infections, STIs, can increase the risk of HIV transmission during sex, shared needles, and syringes. Needles and syringes used by a person with HIV may contain the virus, even if there's no visible blood on them. Pregnancy, delivery, and nursing, people with HIV can pass the virus to their babies before and after birth. But in instances where HIV medication is used, this is extremely rare. Taking certain precautions may protect a person from contracting HIV. Get tested for HIV. Ask sexual partners about their status, before having sex, get tested and treated for STIs. Ask sexual partners to do the same, when engaging in oral, vaginal, and anal sex, use a barrier method such as condoms every time and use it correctly. If injecting drugs, use a new, sterilized needle that hasn't been used by anyone else, pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP, pre-exposure prophylaxis, PrEP is a daily medication used by people without HIV to lower their chances of contracting HIV if exposed. It's highly effective in preventing the transmission of HIV in anyone with known risk factors. Populations at risk include men who have sex with men, if they have had anal sex without using a condom or have had an STI in the last six months. Anyone who does not use a barrier method regularly and has partners who have an increased risk of HIV or an unknown HIV status, anyone who has shared needles or used injected drugs in the last six months, people who are having sex without a condom or other barrier method with HIV-positive partners, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, trusted source. PrEP can reduce the risk of contracting HIV from sex by around 99% in people with known risk factors for HIV. Reduce viral load. The viral load is a measure of the amount of HIV RNA in the blood. The goal of HIV antiretroviral therapy is to reduce the virus to an undetectable level, allow the body to restore its CD4 cell count to normal. CD4 cells are responsible for protecting the body against pathogens that can cause HIV. There are several types of HIV drugs, non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and NRTIs, 
disable a protein that HIV uses to make copies of its genetic material in the cells, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, NRTIs, give HIV faulty building blocks. So it can't make copies of its genetic material in the cells, Protease inhibitors disable an enzyme HIV needs to make functional copies of itself. Entry or fusion inhibitors prevent HIV from entering the CD4 cells, integrase inhibitors prevent integrase activity. Without this enzyme, HIV cannot insert itself into the CD4 cell's DNA. HIV medications are often taken in specific combinations to prevent the development of drug resistance. HIV medications must be taken consistently to be effective. An HIV positive person should talk with their healthcare team before switching medications to reduce side effects or because of treatment failure. Undetectable equals untransmittable. Achieving and maintaining an undetectable viral load, viral suppression trusted source, through antiretroviral therapy effectively eliminates the risk of passing HIV to a sexual partner. A 2016 study trusted source found no instances of HIV transmission from a persistently virally suppressed HIV-positive partner to an HIV-negative partner. Another 2016 study followed thousands of mixed-status couples over several years. There were thousands of instances of sex without condoms. With awareness that you equals you, undetectable equals untransmittable, comes a greater emphasis on treatment as prevention, TOS P. UNAIDS had a 90-90-90 goal to end the AIDS epidemic. By 2020, this plan aimed for 90% of all people living with HIV to know their status, 90% of all people diagnosed with HIV to be on antiretroviral medication, 90% of all people receiving antiretroviral therapy to be virally suppressed, was this goal met? No, this goal was not met worldwide. According to a 2020 study trusted source, South Africa was on track to achieve the first but was 20% points below the second one among people who knew their HIV status. They were close to the third but variation by age and sex had to be taken into account.